Welcome to our special community spotlight series here on Business Radio X, where we are talking to business leaders in our community and supporting them during this very unique time of the COVID-19 crisis. And I am honored to be joined by Jerry Boss. She is the Director of Public Relations for Waffle House. And and Jerry, thank you for joining us. How has Waffle House changed and been doing business since this crisis began? Well, Mike, thank you for having me on. I, I can think of no better topic than to talk about our Waffle House family. And uh, early on, as with most of the uh, industry, we had a downward spiral that appeared to be overnight. That's at least that's the way it felt. Sometime in the beginning of March, we were experiencing an, um, losses in our revenue of 70 to 80 percent. And that was just devastating. It was devastating on our people because that meant that there were fewer hours we could provide. Uh, we had to close stores. Uh, we had to shut down some shifts. So in all in all, over the last seven weeks, I'd say, we have closed down approximately 700 stores. They are temporarily closed. Uh, we lost some 28,000 associates around the country. And that was the most heartbreaking part of it, was to lose so many of our Waffle House family. And so what we've been doing since then is uh, trying to turn around and figure out creative ways. And I have to give it to our operators out there in the field. They are extremely creative. We've done all kinds of things from having pop-up restaurants in some places. We've sold groceries in the stores. We've done uh, Adopt-A-Hero meals where we've tried to allow the community to come back in a small way to say thank you to their first responders by providing a hot meal for them. Um, just all kinds of things that we have done to try and keep jobs available, keep revenue flowing, even though it was limited, uh, because as you know, restaurants pretty much in all 25 of the states where we are located shut down dining for restaurants. And so we were limited to takeout only. And as a dining in concept restaurant, that was really uh, devastating for us to try and figure out how were we going to recover. And so we started early on coming up with a plan that would allow us when the time was right to be able to offer dine-in service back to our customers. So that included taking a look at and monitoring what the CDC was saying about appropriate guidelines, uh, what the governments were saying and requiring. And so we came up with a plan, uh, some six or seven weeks, which we've tweaked over, over those weeks, uh, to come up with a plan that would allow us to add uh, the limited dine-in service with social distancing, uh, of course, adding the emphasis on increased sanitization. We cut down on some of the common touch points in our restaurants. For example, we remove pretty much everything off of the tables. There are no menus on the tables. There are no condiments on the tables. Those have to be requested so that we can sanitize them immediately upon use. Uh, we are also emphasizing the things that we've always had to, done, had to do. Excuse me. You know, restaurants are under food safety protocols that are pretty stringent. And uh, that includes emphasizing constant hand washing. That's a basic. And the CDC has said that that is the best way to defeat that germ of uh, the COVID-19 germ. So what we've been doing is emphasizing that. Our people are wearing uh, face coverings. Like I said, we have enhanced sanitization that we're using. And we're just trying to show, uh, show our customers that we are definitely uh, behind them. We want to provide a safe environment for our associates as well as for our customers to be able to come in and sit down and have a great hot meal. I have uh, been a, a customer for a long time and I have been doing the takeout, calling in and placing my order and then going and picking it up. Uh, it looks like you still have the full menu selection. Nothing has changed there. I know a lot of restaurants, they've done a limited menu. You still are doing the full menu. Is that correct? That is correct. We are still offering the full menu uh, with the new advent of delivery which we're doing with our partnership through Postmates. That is a limited menu at this time, but in terms of coming into the restaurant, placing a takeout order, picking it up, or now in most of our uh, states, being able to sit down and enjoy a hot meal, you can still enjoy the full complement menu. Uh, the all-star, of course, being the favorite with, with, the, with the waffle. So we're pretty proud to be able to still do that and give our customers a slice of normalcy, something that's been, been lacking for a long time and for which we don't know when it will return. That whole idea of back to normal we know is not going to be for, for many, many months and perhaps even years. 
Yeah. The wonderful thing about Waffle House is no matter where you live or where, wherever you work, there's a Waffle House near, near, near where you are. But not every single one is open. How was that decided which ones stay open and which ones don't stay open? Well, like I said earlier, when the COVID-19 uh, restrictions started coming down very rapidly at the beginning of March, we had to make some very difficult decisions. When the customer demand really pretty much dried up in a lot of areas, we had to decide whether we needed to close down some shifts in a store or close down the store altogether. And where the stores were closed, there simply were not customers to be able to maintain the business, to be able to keep the lights on. And so we made the decision to close those stores where it made sense and to try and funnel the business such as it was at the time to other stores, hoping that we could still maintain enough hours for people to work and for them to be able to make enough tips and for us to be able to make enough money to pay them every week and also pay all of our other expenses that go in running a restaurant. So if you see a restaurant that's still closed, that's pretty much an indication that the customer demand has not come back yet sufficiently to reopen that restaurant. I know you're so proud of, of the folks that work at Waffle House. It's a great culture there at Waffle House. How are the employees, the, uh, the ones on the front lines, how are they holding up during this pandemic? They have been fantastic, Mike. I, I cannot say it enough. Our CEO is in the restaurants every day, and he remarks all the time of how being out in the restaurants just picks up his spirits. Our folks out there on the front lines have great attitudes. They like having the opportunity to do what, what we do best, which is take care of customers. Be that local link in the community where people can come in and, and gather, not as long now, <laughs> but definitely come in and say hi and catch up on family matters and all of those things. Because we consider all of our customers pretty much parts, members of our family. It's their home too. And so they have been remarkable in their uh, attitudes, just in the way that they've been giving great customer service, being there when, when they need to come in. Uh, there are those who are just right now sitting on the sidelines, unfortunately, uh, who are just waiting for the day that we can call them back. And we are waiting for the day that we can and see them in the restaurants again. I know Waffle House, you know, people talk about the Waffle House index. When bad things happen, Waffle House does anything it can do to keep its doors open. So I know that it's important for you to, to make sure that you are creating a sense of, as you said earlier, a sense of normalcy right. in your everyday routine and that you're open. So I, I know you've got to be so proud of everybody. Any final words that you'd like the folks to know, know out there about Waffle House during this crisis? Well, we take this virus very seriously. We recognize that there are two sides to this coin. There is the public health crisis of the virus, which is very deadly and dangerous in many areas in our country. And people have lost their lives. People have become ill. It's just a horrible, horrific uh, situation. But on the other side of that coin is also the growing public health crisis of people who are out of work, who are not gonna be able to earn a living to take care of their family members, to be able to take care of themselves and the obligations that simply did not stop because their paychecks stop. And while we're grateful for the government stepping in and providing unemployment, assurance, uh, unemployment uh, to our people and them being able to receive that and have money back in their pockets to pay their mortgages and their rents and their car loads and all of those things, we know that ultimately that can't last forever. And so we're really just trying to provide a pathway, if you will, back to a recovery, which we know is gonna be slow and difficult uh, definitely not going to go as quickly as the, the downslide did, but we definitely want our customers to know we're open. We are welcome them whenever they're ready to return, whether it's uh, to take out, if they want to sit down for a couple of minutes and take a load off, you know, our food is great, hot off the grill, right at the table. Uh, so we are offering that for folks who are ready, willing, and able to come in and sit with us. But if they're not ready yet, just come on in and order to go or order delivery. Uh, that food is still great, and we wait for the day that we can welcome them back in the stores and they're comfortable and become a part of our family again, because we miss them. We miss them, because that's what we do best, is take care of people and feed folks. That's what we do. Yep, absolutely. Well, Najeri, thank you so much for joining us here at Community Spotlight, and thank you to your frontline workers for all they're doing to help serve us here in the community. We are so glad when we see those Waffle House doors open and can still have a little sense of normalcy in our everyday routine. Well, again, thank you, Mike, for having me on and having the opportunity to be able to share with your listeners that Waffle House is still here 
And we're looking forward to the day when we can say Waffle House Index Green. <laughs> now, Jerry Bo Boss, the Director of Public Relations for Waffle House, joining us here on Community Spotlight on Business Radio X.